Feynman heard she was dying, managed to hitchhike, get down there, and happily got to the hospital right before she died. It was with her when she died. And the clock in the room stopped ticking, it turns out, the instant she died. Now, what would a lesser person think? Okay. What did Feynman do? This, to me, represents for me his incredible intellectual integrity and courage. He realized the clock had stopped. He checked it later, the instant she died. And he thought about it. He realized, well, the nurse, when she died, probably came up, picked up the clock to check the time of death for the death certificate. It was an old clock, put it down, and it stopped ticking. So even at the moment of personal anguish, incredible, the, the biggest temptation to believe in some purpose and, and higher purpose to the universe, Feynman said, Let's look at the most rational explanation of this. That's courage and intellectual courage. One of the things Feynman said did, you know, he realized the most the easiest person to fool is yourself. Because each of us thinks that everything that happens to us is significant. And I could talk about a million stories I learned from Carl Sagan and others about that. But you know, every you know, you could have a dream, hundreds of dreams, and they're all nonsense, but one day you dream that your friend is gonna break their leg, the next day they break their arm, and suddenly it's causing you clairvoyant. So Feynman used to go up to people and say, you won't believe what happened to me today. You just won't believe what happened to me today. They go, what? And he go, absolutely nothing. <laughs> anyway. Okay. 